What's going on guys? Another video right here on the cage. Um, recently uploaded the um, superhero one. Was going to make a cool uh, college rugby video. That got boring. So might as well talk about this one. Maybe add some highlights in. It's going to be a lot shorter than the 35 minute video I recently uploaded. So this is going to be some um, Maryland football history kind of coming in here. I don't like um, Maryland, I don't like the Big Ten, I don't like the ACC, but you know, something random, you know. I was going to do Northwestern, a lot more interesting, but Maryland's got a couple national championships, or so they say. It's going to get really confusing here, guys. But, um, so I'm looking up um, this, who's won national championships in like, you know, the 1860s, 70s, and on, it's really the 1960s, and um, just kind of looking through these teams and Kind of looking at lists of rugter seasons, lists of, you know, uh, Northwestern seasons, you know, all these like really small power five schools that never win like anything. But, you know, some 75 years back, they might have a, like an undefeated season that no one gives a shit about. And they probably shouldn't because it's like a 1935 national championship, you know. But it's kind of interesting. So you got Maryland, the Maryland uh, Terrapins, part of the Southern Conference. In 1951, this is right before they joined the ACC. I'm on Wikipedia, right? And Wikipedia, the person who wrote this article, I mean, uh, I mean, article, you know, person who edited this uh, Wikipedia page, claims that ter uh, that Maryland won the national championship in 1951. Okay, and before the BCS national championship, um, you know, the AP, all these different organizations voted on who would who won the national championship. And I really hate that, you know. It's not like the NFL, NBA, where you just have the playoffs and whoever wins the playoffs wins, you know. You got this voting thing. I mean, it makes sense. If there's like 100 and something, 20 teams, you know, you can't really have a playoff that combines them all and make it fair. So, I guess, but I think they should only have one, like, newspaper or one organization voting for this stuff. And they just have one national champion because I'm looking at a bunch of different articles here, a bunch of different uh, sites and there's this one site I'm on right now. Um, this is another Wikipedia page. I got two Wikipedia pages. I got the list of Maryland Terrapin seasons up right now, claiming that they won the 51 championship and the 53 championships. And that 53 championship was in the ACC, so a little bit more of a better season, you know. So you got the 1951 championship, and then you got – now I'm looking at – um, list of college football national championships list on Wikipedia. And trust me, guys, I want to be using Wikipedia, but every other site, like College Football Reference, is terrible. They're claiming, like, freaking um, Weber State's winning championships over here, so i got to use this. And I think what they're saying is that the AP and the UP polls are the ones that claim, are the ones that dictate who wins the national championship. And also, they also have FW uh, AA, which I don't know what the hell that is. I don't really care, honestly, so... Whoever can tell me that, if anyone is willing to say something like that, whoever actually knows that, I guess I'm proud of you. But um, 51, they say there's five teams that were voted on for the national championship. Georgia Tech, Illinois, Maryland, Michigan State, and Tennessee. Now, Maryland in 1951 played Tennessee. It was the number three versus number one team. I have no idea why they just do the number two versus number one, and whoever won that you know, would have won the national championship and you would only have one team. It makes sense, right? But they did the number three versus number one, which makes no fucking sense. But here's the Sugar Bowl. Okay, New Orleans. I don't even know what the fuck New Orleans looked like in 1951, but, or January 1st, 1952, my bad. Three versus one. Maryland wins 28 to 13, but on this college football national championships list on Wikipedia, it says that Tennessee had the AP and UP votes and Maryland didn't Maryland beat the number one team in the nation they were 10 and 0 of this on the season how could you not vote in Tennessee they beat every team they played but here's the problem that was the first time Maryland played a ranked team so I don't know I still think that if you beat the number one team in the country you still should win the national championship if you beat them you know Tennessee it looks like I'm checking it right now what their schedule is looking like they beat the number 16 team in the nation and the number 9 team in the nation. And that was it. They beat Duke and Kentucky. But that was 16-9. and nine. 
and then they lost the three team. So how do they win the national championship game? I mean, they lost the national championship game or so what it is. That's the best bowl game of the year. But then they don't get voted. Uh, they vote. They get voted for fucking national championship. There's a fucking trophy in Tennessee right now for the national championship of 1953. I mean, 1951, you know, so that makes no sense. So Maryland gets robbed on that. Which, but also maybe there's two different trophies or something. I was reading this article about um, the trophies that apparently um, in 1953, which we're about to get to that season, 1953 uh, Maryland Terrapins, when they were cl- when they were voted in by the AP poll. Um, let me see. They were voted by the AP and the UP polls as national champions. So they got the special trophy, which was called. Um, Let me see here. I don't know what it is, but um, let's see where it is. It was something like that. It was some stupid name. So they get the, the tr- they get the trophy, but then it disappears off the campus a couple years after they get it. Okay. The thing is, they played um, they played um, Oklahoma in the Orange Bowl. All right, they lost. They were the number two team coming in. Let me see. Let's see this. Let's see where they were here. Oh, shit. Three, I'm checking right now. So, you got the 1953 uh, Maryland Terrapins. You got their schedule right now. They played some pretty good teams. But they were the rank, number one ranked team. But also that was only in a certain poll because I was just watching the 1954 Rose Bowl. Which was the national championship game? That's what I heard on the fucking commentators were saying that for 1954 Rose Bowl. I mean, Orange Bowl. They said that Oklahoma was ranked number one, but on College Football Reference it says they were ranked number four, and Maryland's ranked number one. That really makes no sense to me. But Maryland lost seven to zero. But the AP and UP polls claim them as national champions, even though Oklahoma won. But then I'm reading this article, Oklahoma stole the trophy or something from Maryland. Okay, so they stole the trophy from Maryland, and they have it in their museum right now. And then Maryland gets a new trophy that someone built like 20 years later. So we don't know. There, there's like five national champions, champions that team. Let's see uh, how many cha- uh, people claim to win the national championship. Uh, Maryland, Notre Dame, and Oklahoma. All those were voted. This is Notre Dame's votes. I don't know what the fuck these um, organizations are. B R B S D E capital S D U capital S H A F L N C F uh, P S S R W S. Here's Oklahoma's. They, these these organizations sound so ghetto, but Oklahoma literally beat the number one team in the country, and they're not even voted by AP or UP. Here's the thing about Oklahoma. These are the people who voted for Oklahoma. B parentheses Q P R S and C F R A. I can't click on those things. I can. I can click on AP and UP. I can't click on B parentheses QPRS or CFRA. So, just because Oklahoma lost a game and they tied a game, doesn't mean they can't be national champions. They won. They beat the number one team in the nation, or they beat the the undefeated team in the nation. They beat fuck. They they had to play Oklahoma had to play a week one um, against Notre Dame, who was ranked first in the country. How's that fair? Okay. They beat number 15 Texas on a neutral site game. And they also beat the number one team uh, in uh, Miami, Florida for the Orange Bowl. And they're not college football. I mean, they're not the fucking. They're not national champions. So there's just some stupid crap going on with that. I mean, if you beat the number one team. And the so-called national championship game while being undefeated. And just because you didn't beat another ranked team throughout your season, you don't get um, crowned as national champion. That's stupid. You beat the team that won the national champion, that that got the championship trophy. How does the team that gets the trophy, Tennessee, lose to the undefeated team in the national championship game but still win the trophy? Does that make any sense? Do they get a banner? A lot of crap going on right now. That makes no sense to me. So, yeah. 
that's kind of like a Maryland um, history, 1950s Maryland history video right there for you guys. So I'll, I'll edit this out, see what happens, you know. So guys, I'm editing this video right now. I kind of just threw this video together, you know. It doesn't look that good, but you know, I wanted to upload a video for fun. Just for old time's sake, you know. And I'm watching the entire 1954 Orange Bowl, which was, you know, Maryland versus um, Oklahoma, which I talk about in the video. And, of course, we know that Oklahoma wins that one 7-0. That's what it says on um, Maryland Terrapins fan pages. It says all over Wikipedia, college football reference, other sites where it's listing the bowl games in 1953 and 54. And it's, they say it's 7-0. to zero. I'm like, that's a weird score, even for back then, you know? That's, I mean, for an entire football game, only one team gets in the end zone. There's no field goals. It's interesting. So I'm watching the highlights, and I see Maryland score a touchdown. And I know Maryland's in the white because the commentators said it. So I'm like, okay, that maybe they messed up. Maybe that's um, Oklahoma. And But they specifically say it, and then they missed the extra point. You guys may see this in the video. When I'm editing, I might just I kind of gave up editing and just threw a bunch of old football highlights from the 50s and 40s in here, but uh, maybe you guys will see it. They're in the white and it's a black and white, and they missed extra points. So I know it can't be seven to zero if they missed extra point. Then I watch Oklahoma go up 14-6, or whoever goes up 14-6. So and all these like Maryland fan pages and stuff are saying that Maryland lost seven to zero, but really they lost. It looks like 20 to six. Am I the only one who knows this in the world? I mean, 1954 wasn't that long ago. I mean, they got to keep records of 1954 like sports events. If this was 1869, which I might make a heavily disputed video over that, which some might kill me. Some might come to my house and kill me if I say that Rutgers won the national championship in 1869, because everyone says it was Princeton, you know. But I mean, I think it's Rutgers. In 1869, but that's a whole other story. I think, I mean, this has got to be conspiracy. Either way, Oklahoma won the uh, national champion. I mean, they won the game 20 to 6, either 7 to 0 or 20 to 6. Does anyone else know this except for me? I mean, someone else watched the video of the 1954 Orange Bowl. The guy who uploaded the video has to know that there's something up. I think it all has to do, they need to make a movie about um, how Oklahoma desk squatters and Oklahoma um, trained agents of the 19. Uh, 50s um, traveled to Maryland they traveled to around Baltimore and they stole the trophy that really should have been in their hands because they beat the number one team in the national championship game but someone gave Maryland a trophy for no fucking reason and these agents for Oklahoma someone brought it back on horseback and they still got the trophy someone needs to make a movie with that like someone like Brad Pitt or Tom Cruise has got to be in that so yeah but that I just want to say something about that which someone look into that I got we got the cage loyalist here. We got some monarchists for the cage that probably respect the hell out of our videos and are addicted to them. So they got fan clubs for the cage. But yeah, I'll see you guys later.